In the fast moving metro life of Delhi, nature has been disappearing for a while now. In the life of Delhi, a fresh breeze is promised by the Aravali Biodiversity Park. Park. The word sounds like entertainment for most people. But after entering the Biodiversity Park, one gets the feeling of a forest. This overmined 700 acre barren area is slowly turning into a paradise for birds and bird watchers. Located in the center of posh colonies, it provides the birds a safe haven. Four years ago, this area only had the common minor, pigeons, doves, crows, and a scanty population of peafowl. But now, the scenario has changed. The population of peafowl has increased manifold. The park has given them ample space and a habitat to breed and survive. Not only peafowl, but other birds like the coppersmith barbet, black rumped woodpecker, ashy prinia, tailor bird, hornbill, and grey partridge have also arrived and started breeding here. Brood parasitism can also be spotted here. The crow can be seen feeding and rearing the coil's chicks. During hot days, most of the birds' eggs hatch and the chicks come out on the onset of the rainy season. During the rains, Food is available in plenty. Insects, new leaves, buds, fruits and seeds are available through wild native plants in all developing habitats of the park. Out of the 170 recorded bird species, most are insectivorous. They feed on dragonflies, worms, caterpillars, butterflies and beetles. In fact, all birds feed on insects at a young age to get protein and fats instantly. Granivorous birds get food easily from the vast grassland. They feed on wild grass spread in the rangeland and in other areas. The baya feeds on sencris grass but makes its nest on the saccharum. It is a granivore bird, however, it feeds insects to its chicks. Granivorous birds need a diversity of wild grasses to survive. Silverbills, red munia, green pigeon, doves, and house sparrows all share the same food material. These grasses and other fruit seeds provide enough food for them in both the summers as well as the winters. Many fruit yielding plant species like Ericia, Caparis, figs, neem, cassia fistula support fruigivorous bird species. 
the brown barbet feeds on ficus fruits while the white-eared bulbul red-vented bulbul rose-ringed and alexandrine parakeets feed on ericea and gravia fruits which survive and flourish very well in the park. Sunbird is the only nectarivore bird species of the park, getting its food from the erythrina and caparis flowers. Erythrina provides food to the white eye also. Small birds and reptiles provide food to carnivorous birds. The black-shouldered kite, shikra, kestrel and shrike are carnivore birds who find their prey easily in the park. The Aravali Biodiversity Park invites many migrant and passage migrant birds in all seasons. The Verditer Flycatcher, Blue Throat, red-throated flycatcher and the black red start arrive here in the winter season. The pied crested cuckoo, paradise flycatcher, red whiskered bulbul find their home here in the rainy season, whereas the golden oriole and the Eurasian wryneck arrive in the summer season. Sirkir Malkoha and Eurasian Thick Knee are rare birds of Delhi which have also chosen this area. Black Partridge is also a new record of South Delhi that arrives in this park. developing different forest communities and extended area for the development will increase the bird diversity and density in the area naturally. Right in the center of a metropolis bursting at its seams, where construction, mining and pollution are wrecking havoc, there exists this small haven, which goes on to prove that mankind can still undo its mistakes, provided there exists a will to change, a resolve to improve our surroundings, and a resolve to leave behind a better world for our future generations.